so we come to the sixth bowl. Let me read you what John says. The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. Then I saw three impure spirits that looked like frogs. They came out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. They are demonic spirits that perform signs, and they go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them for the battle on the great day of God Almighty. Look, I come like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays awake and remains clothed, so as not to go naked and be shamefully exposed. Then they gathered the kings together to the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. <laughs> Armageddon, doesn't that make you kind of sit up and take notice? It's, it's, so, it's so part of this great picture of Revelation. But what's this all about? Well, we've seen something similar in chapter 9. In chapter 9, we realised that one of the great things that Rome was frightened of was invasion from the east. They, they feared that the Parthians would come and attack Rome itself. But the, the thing about uh, Rome was it was defended by the river Euphrates. It formed a natural barrier. It, it formed a place that could be defended without too much difficulty. The Parthians would have to cross the river first before they could attack Rome. But this time, the angel pours forth a bowl and the waters of the Euphrates are dried up. And if the waters are dried up, does that remind you of another picture of the, of the plague stories of Egypt? So when the Israelites escaped Egypt at last and they came to the Reed Sea, the Red Sea, they couldn't cross until, until they prayed, Moses prayed, and the waters were parted and the Israelites crossed on dry land and escaped. The Egyptian army followed and they were destroyed. So in that case, the waters dried up was an exodus, but this time we read it's a reversal. This time as the waters are dried up, it's not an exodus, it's an invasion. It's Rome realizing that actually the enemies were gonna come against them. But interestingly, there's a note here to the believers in this. Did you hear verse 15? Look, I come like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays awake and remains clothed, though as not to go naked and be shamefully exposed. You see, when, when the empire was crumbling, when all looked grim, the Christians were reminded to stay alert because this once mighty and powerful empire would be crumbling around them and they should recognize the signs of the times. Do we as believers stay alert? Do we realize that actually the life we're living in is a war zone? This isn't, this isn't peace, peace comes eventually, but we're living as soldiers at war and there were, therefore we need to be ready. We need to make sure that we're not the ones who are ashamed at the last day. So, another bowl has come and gone, just one more, one remains.